Namibians is woke these days. I see you. The people have spoken and the message is clear. Namibians are finally tiring of seeing blatant corruption at play and doing nothing about it. We's woke now. Check this out. A picture of a government vehicle allocated to the Deputy Minister of Health was photographed outside a shop loading cement recently. The government misusing government property, like what is going on currently. They are buying a lot of cars. Those cars of which maybe they are even having 10, 15, very, very, very much expensive cars. It is a very bad thing because those cars, they are just being misused. And as students, I'm studying Bachelor of English at NAST, and we are going through a situation of whereby currently we are not even getting internships. When we go in government offices, they are telling us that no, we, we cannot offer you interns currently because the government doesn't have money but while less they are able to buy very 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 much expensive cars of which those cars they are just misusing them they are found in accidents some they are found with cement of which is not a good thing government vehicles are supposed to be used for government purposes and to find someone uh, using them for private use it means it's a cost to the um, public because they are the ones that fund government um, expenses through tax and if uh, vehicles are used for other purposes other than government purposes it simply means that is a bill that is rising against the government costs and that bill is unfunded because it's not for government purposes. Since corruption is everywhere, corruption is everywhere, but in Namibia is getting worse. Since government officials or vehicles are supposed to be for the government, meaning that those vehicles were bought from the people, taxes, money, whereby those cars or vehicles are supposed to be used only for official work. The ministers being, what are they, public servants should be held accountable. Um, these cars are brought from the uh, public funds and should only be used uh, in carrying out um, official government business. The government um, vehicles are mis mis misused because um, I see most of the government cars that we are wanted to use is the police officers' cars who have been parking the back of the shebins, then the guys are still in front of the shebins, and when they, there is accident, then they, they are not used to be become at the at the at the place where they are needed. There should be um, a law system whereby government employees have to log in when they leave work to their homes because at least there should be a fixed distance from work to home and home to work. And if there's any other errand that is being run, they need to be uh, explained by the logbook when the mileage is higher. And I think the way of avoiding this thing, it's by uh, them, first of all, think for their people before they think for themselves. Because when you have that heart of thinking for the other people, you have love and you are not selfish. But it shows that they are selfish and they are greedy. That's why they are behaving in the way which they are behaving. The nation took to social media to decry this, and even the finance minister tweeted about it. The finance minister tweeted, in spite of what the ACC clarified, Personal usage of official vehicles is subject to a trip authority which is restricted to the territory of Namibia. Secondly, to move government property outside the Namibian territory and jurisdiction requires treasury authorization. 